The Checkpoints is presented by pharmaceutical company GM Pharma. The European Business Association and the American Chamber of Commerce in Georgia organized a members meeting with the ambassador of the United States of America to Georgia and the ambassador of the European Union to Georgia aimed at discussing important topics for private sector representatives. Irakli Baydashvili, president of the American Chamber of Commerce, opened the event and delivered a welcome speech, followed by the panel discussion on Georgia's EU candidate country status, focusing on business and economic opportunities. The panel featured Robin Dunnigan, the ambassador of the United States of America to Georgia, and Paul Herczynski, the ambassador of the European Union to Georgia. George Walton, executive director of the American Chamber of Commerce, moderated the discussion. The members of the EBA and AMCHA diplomatic corps and representatives of the international financial institutions attended the event. Guests were able to pose questions and contribute to the dialogue, fostering an enriching exchange of ideas and viewpoints. To be here today with the uh, American Chamber of Commerce and the European Business Association. They're hosting this conference to bring together my colleague, the ambassador of the EU, um, Ambassador Herzhensky, and me to talk about our support for Georgia's Euro-Atlantic path and its move to become a member of the EU. Um, this, this path that we have is going to require really close cooperation between all segments of Georgian society, government, civil society, the private sector, you know, to realize the Euro-Atlantic trajectory. And so the private sector is going to play such an important role in that process. So it's a real pleasure to be here today to meet with them to talk about the next steps. Today is a very important event for the European Business Association because we have the luck, we have the European ambassador here and the US ambassador speaking with the business about uh, European integration, the candidate status, what's the next, the, the delegations, uh, the progress report that we work on. So we're going to have a lot of questions. I have to add here very special also thank to AmCham uh, because we're working together on this event with the American Chamber of Commerce, which is important also to show that business associations working together with each other uh, because the business needs to have one voice. And uh, we're honored to have these two big ambassadors here today to speaking to the business and just openly communicate. European market, very short. It is unnecessary for the business. There is not even one business who told we don't need European market. We need the European market, why it's a bigger market. Georgia is a, has a very small market, so we need our economy to grow. We need to have an integration with the European Union. Now, okay, they are bottlenecks, but this is why an association is for. One by one, we're trying to reduce the trade barriers, support businesses, help them to overcome. And this is not an overnight thing also. This is thing, it takes time. But I'm quite convinced, I'm living already for 20 years in Georgia, I've seen the progress and I'm seeing the progress every year more and more and we need to just keep on working what we're doing, making sure there's a good legislation, fair competition, good uh, skills uh, laws, labor laws and uh, you need to do this together with the business sector. I would refer to, we, we report, we had the EU business climate report with all the companies made a report about what are the biggest issues and I'm not going to hide it, the biggest issue was of course, political instability, this discussion. Um, you have this everywhere. Bureaucracy, uh, you have this also in Europe bureaucracy, but Georgia just cannot afford it. We need to be better than the other ones. And uh, these things, yes, they are a hurdle for the business. We need to work with it and we need to continue working uh, together with government, with institutions, with embassies, with the business included also, uh, to solve one by one. Everybody knows the rule of law is still not okay for the business. I'm not now telling the rule of law, the legislation, etc. I'm just telling the trust. There is not enough trust from the business in the legislation yet. So it is necessary to make sure that there is more trust, that more investors will come here. You see on the, my banner here standing in the back, doing business in Georgia will be the same as doing business in Europe. This is what we have to go for. Do you trust the justice system in Belgium, in France, in Italy? They're also not the best. They also have their problems. But the trust is there, and this is what the business needs, trust in the justice system. We have a very important uh, meeting uh, held today in Tbilisi, and I'm really grateful to the European Business Association and American Chamber of Commerce for uh, bringing together their members, private businesses, 
and uh, organizing an exchange with me and with my American counterpart, US, Embassy, uh, US Ambassador in Tbilisi, about the uh, future development of Georgia and economic prospects linked to Georgia's uh, candidate status and uh, future membership in the European Union. So we have two uh, business associations, European Business Association and American Chamber of Commerce, bringing their members and organizing an exchange with EU and US ambassador. Very interesting formula, and I'm looking forward to a fruitful discussion. We were all celebrating in December last year a historic decision of uh, 27 EU member states to grant Georgia candidate status. I was personally very happy, and uh, we have all congratulated each other. Um, uh, this is a very important step uh, because formally Georgia is a candidate country for EU membership, but in order to get there, there are several stages. The next stage is opening of accession negotiations. We sincerely hope that we will get to this stage as quickly as possible. In order to get there, Georgia received uh, nine steps. Um, uh, those nine steps need to be implemented. Uh, the implementation is ongoing. We will review the state of implementation um, with uh, another enlargement report. We actually started working on this report already now. We had consultations with civil society yesterday. We will have consultations with uh, businesses in the coming week. We will get input from the authorities. We will engage everyone in a very open, transparent way. Um, and we sincerely hope that till October this year, when a new enlargement report will be drafted by the Commission with recommendations, um, there will be enough progress made on all nine steps so that there will be a positive recommendation from the side of the European Commission to 27 EU member states to open uh, uh, accession negotiations. And this decision, again, will be taken by 27 sta member states by unanimity December uh, this year. So what we need now is as much progress as possible on all nine steps so that European Commission can, can give a positive recommendation and member states can uh, decide to move to the next stage, opening accession negotiations. I will not assess the, the level of implementation today. It's, it's too early. Um, what is very important uh, is that in spite of the fact that, as we all know, there are elections in Georgia in October, which naturally will draw a lot of uh, attention and a lot of energy of, of everyone, all political leaders. What is very important is that in parallel, everyone works uh, in order to move forward on the nine steps, which means a need for the government to be inclusive and to involve the opposition. For the opposition, it means a constructive approach and trying to work together with the government in order to make progress. And very important from our point of view, has been always meaningful involvement of uh, civil society. So I sincerely hope that uh, in spite of uh, electoral campaign, there will be a national consensus and everyone working together in the direction of European integration. Checkpoints is presented by pharmaceutical company GM Pharma.